Here are some of the craziest artificial intelligence tools that are available right now that not everybody knows about. There's one particular tool in here that is gonna blow you away, but not only that, I'm also going to show you something that I found that blew my mind away and how somebody's getting millions of followers on TikTok utilizing, and heck, even Instagram, et cetera, utilizing one of these tools, and he actually creates the case study, and I'm gonna go over it as well. As you know, my approach is to never waste time and just get right to it, so let's actually hop in. And if you enjoy that, that we don't spend two, three minutes going over nothingness, smash the like and consider subscribing. So first one is smartwriter.ai. So what exactly is Smart Writer. Well, Smart Writer pretty much goes out there and creates emails that you can use to send out to potential prospects. So there's a lot that's happening in here, but there's also a Google Chrome plugin that you can use that they provide that allows you to scrape emails as well from LinkedIn for potential prospects. So again, they have smart script, personalized outreach, email content. Now what's really cool is they have multiple different options to choose from. And what's really important is that they have ads, again, Facebook headline, primary text, social media content, really, really powerful, especially for pretty much anything you need to do in order to create persuasive material, such as sales copy or website copy, whatever it is, you get the idea. So it's very, very powerful. There's a lot to play around with, but I want to keep on going so this video doesn't become an hour long. Next up is AI Writer. Dot com. So AI Writer lets you literally go ahead and generate articles, generate content in just a few clicks. So once you're in, it's under research and write, text rewording, SEO. Everyone's pretty much going to use this right here to create unique content. So this can be for blog posts. Heck, you can even go on Fiverr and sell this as a service that you'll create blog posts, etc. how many words. Now they do charge based on how many words per month. So I'm gonna use AI algorithm trading bot. I'm gonna click on write article over here. And so it's going to start generating the article. As you can see, it would be ready in eight minutes. Next up is Descript.com. Now it's an all-in-one audio, video editing, et cetera. And some of the features, because there's a lot that's going on in here, is transcription, uh, screen recording, overdub, studio audio. So if you were to click on product tour up here, you can get started for free. And just so you know, it is a download. So this is what the download page would look like. It works for Mac OS and Windows. And it's a very, very powerful video editing suite. It's more than just a video editing suite, but what it can do is insane. So it can take robotic sounding voices, for example, and make it sound unique. It can do much more than that. If it hears your voice say, um, or et cetera, blah, 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 it will go ahead and be able to remove those words, those filler words. And again, you can hear the examples as they pretty much go and show it to you. They have templates. There's so much that can be done in here, even though it's more hands-on. The AI aspect to it is more so with the sound, how good the sound quality is, et cetera. And there's also some other really cool little minute features that I can auto-tune clips for you and all of that, which will make it look fantastic. So there's a lot that's going on in here with the script.com. So word tune, this is really, really cool. This is a Google Chrome extension. And what it does is when you add it to Google Chrome, you'll be able to see how it works right away by going through their questionnaire and it's free. So let me show you this. So you would go to, let's just say YouTube, once you have the Google Chrome extension installed and let me close out of it so you can see it happen in real time. So I'm going to, I'm going to go to YouTube and right over here, I would just simply click on the, uh, the extension and it's over here. All right. It's populating. It's gonna essentially create an entire synopsis of what is being said in the article or the YouTube video, et cetera. Aside from giving you all the important bullet points, whether it's in an article or a YouTube video, it's also able to do a lot more. It allows you to pretty much reformat your sentence structures to essentially create a tone that you want. So for example, you can see right down here, I just put in, it was amazing seeing you last night. Let's catch up soon. I click on rewrite and you can see that it will give me different options based on the tone that I want to go ahead and have as well. Now we have runway. It's essentially creating any type of visual content, a lot more than visual content, right on the go, right on the fly here. 
So let's take a look right inside the back end. What you would do is you would go to AI Magic Tools and you can see you have audio, video, image, etc. And this will be really important for what I'm gonna be showing you in just a little bit because again, like I said, the best part has yet to come. So when you go ahead and you're in here, you can pretty much do anything you possibly need. So let's just go to text to image for simplicity. So what I want to do is let's just go with, so the prompt that I'm gonna use is very simple, Rick Sanchez next to Morty. Number of outputs, I'm just gonna put three and I'm gonna click generate and I'm gonna see exactly what it comes out with. But again, the more deeper you go with your prompt, with what you're telling the AI to generate for you, the better it should theoretically be. And over time, these tools are only going to get better. And let's not forget the AI algorithm trading bot is done, but we'll get back to that after this is also done rendering. So as you can see here, they don't look that great. So under settings, you can actually click advance and the style, well, you can pretty much change the style as you see fit. So let's just go with a cyberpunk look and see, well, what happens? Oof, yeah, it's, that's pretty rough. They, uh, <laughs> they, they did Morty really dirty here. You're gonna have to play around with the settings is what I'm trying to get at and over time it gets better. And I really don't think anybody's typing in Rick Sanchez next to Morty. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't, maybe you're weird like me, but whatever. Anyway, let's go to Hot Pot. So Hot Pot lets you turn images to R, refine images, uh, re-image yourself with AI, etc. So let's actually go in right over here. You can sign up and see the examples. And then we have this right here. What should I draw? Well, 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 it seems like we're gonna meet again. Now for the style, what exactly do I want? Let's go with something completely out of the norm. Let's go animation version four. So let's take a look. So I'm gonna go ahead and simply just click create. And wait time can be three to 10 seconds, up to 15 minutes, depending on the amount of people that are actually using the site. So as we wait for this to be generated, let's go over the article from AI Writer in the very beginning. And right over here, you can see that it created an entire 500 word article. Obviously you would go in there and edit it more to make it more you sounding, if you will. And if it sounds too much like an actual bot created it, well, you have the groundwork, you have the base of what you should be creating. So highlight text has, that has not been rewritten. This is very useful because everybody always says, well, we can detect plagiarism or the teachers can detect it or Google can detect it. When I was in school, there was actually a software, I forgot what it was, where you would upload your document and it would cross-reference for plagiarism as well. Um, and that worked really well. I know for a fact it worked really well. I was, I was, not, a, I was not a good student. Um, copy and paste was my friend. But anyway, you could see stuff like this would definitely give me an edge these days, but I'm kidding. Don't, don't do that. Um, be, be smart, be unique. Anyways, this is what it spit back out to me. Just wanted you to see that yes, it, it actually works. I'm not gonna read it all, but you can play around with it yourself. Now, this is pretty cool. If they yet again didn't morph Morty and Rick together. This, this actually is pretty cool, the 3D animation here. And I'm pretty sure with premium, it could be a heck of a lot better. I'm really curious on these variations now. So let's keep going. Let's create another. Now this would actually look really cool if I could see his face. Oh, I didn't even know they have the ability to create an NFT. Now that I know it, you can just take the image and make it an NFT, maybe this is a shortcut for Logan Paul. Let's see. Here we go. And this looks way better than anything from CryptoZoo. Anyway, now this video is long enough and I had three other resources that I wanted to share, but I don't want this to drag on. So if if you want to see more, then just smash the like. Ideally, that would help and subscribe with notifications. If there's enough demand by the show of likes, then I'll create a part two and share other resources as well. These three are actually really powerful. However, I did promise you that I was going to show you something that would blow you away. And I was browsing on Twitter and we do a lot with TikTok and kind of, you know, growth hacking for our companies, getting a lot of leads in, you know, to booked calls, etc. And so this caught my attention because a lot of our viral accounts, we don't use our face. We just use like 10, 15 second videos, but they get millions of views, uh, you know, no face ever, et cetera. So I was going through this and I thought, wow, this is a really good idea is what they're doing is they're essentially using AI to create these images. And then what they're doing is using this source called fake you.com, but all these voices, there's like 2000, how many 2,900 voices to choose from. And you know, you could do Rick Sanchez, and Rick Sanchez, 
you could do Morgan Freeman. I tried the Morgan Freeman. You could do SpongeBob. I used SpongeBob last night. It was terrifying because there's multiple different SpongeBobs over here. And again, you have to play around with these because some of them sounds like SpongeBob is just lurking in a crack den waiting to attack somebody. It's actually viciously scary. So I would definitely recommend playing around with the multiple different variations of one voice that they have because again, AI is artificial intelligence. It learns the more it gets used. So the more people that use it, the better it gets. So that's how it fine tunes itself. So he was using that particular software as well as a image generator for this Rick Sanchez. And this particular image was simply utilized with Dolly 2. And I'm pretty sure that's an open AI company, AKA ChatGPT. So again, this is really smart. You can see over here, the example of what is pretty much working with this account. And this account has 2.4 million followers, Bikini Bottom News, probably using the SpongeBob voice. That's it for this video when it comes to the most resourceful AI tools currently right now. But there's three other tools that I can hopefully share with you if there's enough want and need for those tools to be shared. It's a lot to do with creating advertisements, sales persuasion, etc. Those tools will come in handy a, a lot. So if you want that, subscribe with notifications. Take a look at the description down down below, I'll actually have a Telegram channel you can join for updates when I release videos, etc. And just smash the like and subscribe. I hope you enjoy this and let me know your thoughts in the comments. See you guys.